And uh, I think it's a week from today that you guys leave. Uh, how soon can that come? Yeah, I mean, it's in a week, but everything, everyone's excited. You feel the urge around the building that, you know, game week's close. Um, you know, just excited to go out and play play a different team after scheme, scheming up against the offense all fall camp. What, what do you see from uh, from Louisiana? And I, I guess, obviously, I think of the running backs, what, what a lot of people look at. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, the running backs, um, one of their big players, they're going to try to get him the ball. And, you know, it'll be a great challenge for our defense to try to stop him. Um, you know, they're, they're a big team. I remember that from last time when they came in here. They got some big, big alignment, big players all around. So, yeah, we just got to be ready to be physical. You doing all the summer workouts and stuff. Do you like putting on tape of an opponent and actually having a team to game plan for and players to study and stuff? Yeah, I mean, the off season is definitely a long, long grind. So once we get to the season, it's, it's fun to, you know, be able to scheme up against a different team. What about that quarterback transfer from LSU? You're probably watching some of his tape from yeah. the year before, I guess, 2014. But what do you make of him? He's good. I mean, they got a couple good quarterbacks. So um, I don't know if they've named a starter yet LSU necessarily. Guy. But, uh, but, uh, so yeah, he's good. He's a good player. I watched some of his LSU film, and you know, uh, he's a dual threat player. So we gotta be ready for that as well. What do you, what do you remember about their running back, um, McGuire, from the last time you guys played him? I just think he's an all-around good back. He he catches the ball well out of the backfield. You know, he's pretty powerful. Um, runs behind his pads, so it'll be a, it'll be a good challenge for us. Is it is a linebacker? Do you guys have to mean uh, the fact that he is such a good threat out of the backfield? Is it, I don't know if he's more honest, or is it make it that a little more difficult to uh, you know contain him? I guess or though. Yeah, I mean it's always tough playing a back that could do both. So uh, yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a good challenge, and you know it's it's always fun playing against the against the good players. What's what's that challenge gonna be like? I mean, you, you talk about you know it's your first game, so you kind of there's a lot of the unknown and. You got to go on the road, and it, it's a place you know that's not going to be comfortable there necessarily. So, yeah. what, what, what's that challenge like? Oh, you know that that first game. You know it'll be it'll be fun going on the road, playing against playing against uh, their crowd, and it's always fun going into a hostile environment and you know trying to quiet down the crowd a little bit. But uh, you know it's going to be there's unknown for us too for them, so it goes both ways. It's just who can execute. So. Yeah. Obviously, you know, last year you guys got you know opened up the season at home for the first time in forever. So what what's the difference between starting out on the road and starting out at home? I think just the aspect of traveling and then obviously playing in Louisiana. It's gonna be hot and humid. So uh, we've been having some practices, getting used to that. And, uh, yeah, I think that we're gonna be ready for that. It's so, been fun. Yeah, I mean, it's been hot, but <laughs> you know, it's fun. It's always fun putting on the pads and playing football. Is it mental too? I mean, Ben was saying a lot of it's just mental. Not let you guys play when it's zero out here, and you come out for warm ups with no shirt on and stuff. Sometimes, I mean, is it kind of just mental? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you don't really you don't really realize how hot it is or anything when you're out there actually playing. It's more of when you're standing on the sideline, not doing anything. So, I don't think it'll be a huge factor. Just you know, hydrating, just know that it's going to be there, so we'll be ready. How often are you guys kind of up and active before? 10 a.m. Mountain Time. I mean, it's it's an early kickoff too. So I mean, are you guys pretty accustomed to getting up early. And getting yeah, I'm, it or? I'm pretty sure everyone everyone usually gets up um, early. I mean, I know for myself, I'm not really a sleeping type of guy. I like to get up early and get things going. But um, for for most of us, we got classes early in the morning because we have these afternoon practices. So everyone's usually up early. I don't think it'll be a big factor. Everyone here, you know, talked about last season, you know, lo losing four games and that being such a motivating factor. And it seems like a lot of times. In the past, when that's happened at Boise State, the next season's been a really good one. You know, how, how, you, do you guys are you aware of that history? And you know how, how motivated is this team? I don't think I don't think anyone is really thinking about the past too much. Just you know trying to take it one game at a time, and you know let, just go one and zero each week, and uh, we should be good. How, how, looking back, I mean you mentioned not, not trying to think about last season, but how much of a motiv motivating factor is it? You know a lot of people have mentioned the record, and most places that's pretty good, but I, you know here obviously it's not quite what you guys want. Yeah, it's definitely a bad taste in our mouth, even though we you know went out with the bang and the point settable, but uh, you know, it's still a bad taste in our mouth, just not, not living up to our standards around here. The 31 turnovers, I think you guys forced on defense last year and you lose, you know, nine of those in picks from uh, Dion and, and obviously uh, Thompson and the other guys too. I mean, what, how do you guys try to create the turnovers and how big of an emphasis has that been for you guys trying to create turnovers? Yeah, it's been a huge emphasis. It, it always has been, but you know, I, I think that there's even a bigger urge this year to create turnovers and it really comes down to people just Coming, making the most of their opportunities, and when an opportunity presents itself, catching the ball or, you know, chasing someone down, ripping the ball out. We've seen you guys in practice too when the ball's on the ground, having the DBs or whoever's pick it up and run with it and stuff. I mean, is that is that is that something new you guys have focused? Yeah, on? that is something new. Um, the coaches have put in. So whenever the ball hits the ground, you got to pick it up and get two stripes. It just you know builds a habit of whenever you're in a game, if a ball hits the ground, we're trying to score. We're talking about their, uh Darren uh, earlier this week or last week or whenever it was, but he was saying that um, maybe at certain point in times last year, 
guys didn't have the confidence they needed because, uh, and maybe they, they were left guessing at times a little bit out on, out on the field. Do you, get, do you feel like communication and all that is is is, uh, is better this year? I guess or yeah, I think I think we've been uh, uh, as long with uh, like what I was just talking about, like communication. The coaches have been really emphasizing that too. So, I mean, watching tape if we're not if we're not using our hands on defense or anything. Um, they're on us. You know, we need to communicate better, or whatever. So I think that communication's been better this year. What are you going to see from an Andy Avalos defense, maybe that we didn't see last year under, under Coach Yates? Um, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but I mean, his style, though. I mean, I know some of the stuff's the same, but it, well, you obviously have had him as a position coach the last couple of years. What, in terms of what kind of coach he is and his style out there, uh, what are we going to see from that? Aspect? I mean, I think Coach Avalos is a fiery dude. So you know, he he relates to he re- relates to his players real well and because he just played the game not too long ago and uh, you know for for the rest you guys will have to just see on see for yourself we we're joking or not joking but talking about the position change you were joking that because they didn't want to make you feel like a db or whatever uh when they put the linebacker instead of nickel i mean what yeah. how's that gone the last couple of weeks actually out there practice seeing kind of what the role is in this position and stuff? it's good man i like i like playing i like playing inside as well i played inside my whole life so you know two years ago when i moved to outside it was a little different for me but i, I enjoy playing in space too I think it's fun being, it's a new challenge, kind of just playing, you know, some man-to-man on some slot receivers and stuff like that, so it's fun. Why do you think Ben Weaver was named the captain? Because he has all that, he has, he, he's what you look for in a captain, you know, he's, he's vocal when we need him to be vocal, he's, he works his ass off, he, he prepares every game, so yeah, I mean, that is a, he's a true captain. What makes him just a special, you know, player and stuff, you know, it seems like people rally around him and just, people are just kind of drawn to him, why, you know, when you think of him in that aspect, what, what stands out? I just think that the way he works and the way that he's able to bring his teammates with him, people respect that. And the, and the way he shows up on every game and he's consistent year in and year out, people respect that.